Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Billy's Figure Review. Today, we review Build the Figure Ironmonger Marvel Legends Iron Patriot. And it is the Norman Osborn likeness, as, it, as it's in the comics. Okay, well, it comes with the torso of the Ironmonger. Let's take a well, it's uh, on the top there it says Marvel Iron Man, Avengers Assemble, I mean, Avengers Initiative, Marvel, well, it says Build a Figure Iron Mo Monger Series, Marvel Legends, Iron Patriot, with a Hasbro logo at the bottom. Of course, there's a big, there's some orange typey texture type background there with a big A for Avengers behind him. Although Norman Osborn was more of a enemy to the Avengers. Again, with the Avengers Initiative logo. Marvel Iron Man again. A photo of the picture outside the box. At the bottom of his foot it says one torso. It means he's the first one in this set. There is his BIO. If you really want to read it, just pause it. Cool picture of him. As I, there you go. This is the figure you are building. This is number two, classic Iron Man. This is number three, heroic age Iron Man. And these are the next three. That are supposed to come sometime in 2013. Sometime in fall. Again, this is Build a Figure Collection Iron Monger Series. Blah, blah, blah. And it is Armor, Armor Vault 1 of 6. So, it. And uh, this is Oz. This Norman Osborne. Iron Patriot is the third and final one of the first wave of Build a Figure Iron Man. Okay, well let's open this bad boy up here. Well, this is this was the most easiest one to open. No idea why. Okay, get him out of the package here. Oh, come on. Go and there we go. Okay, well, we got them out of the package here. Okay, he comes with this. Of course, I'm not going to give you a review of it as I am planning on making. After I am complete the Iron Monger, I will review it for you guys. Okay, this, well, this is uh, another blue one of those cool, awesome blueprints. Of course, if you want to know who the heck this, when this uh, Norman Osborn actually existed, just read Dark Avengers number one. Oh. Says Noble Check, the power of Osborne's star shape Unibe could not match Stark's circular and ge geometric designs. Oh, this was engineered by Norman Osborne, which he, by the looks of it, stole from Stark Technology. And his arm and the armor was painted with the colors of Captain America, creating a false icon to rally people behind Osborne's sinister team of Dark Avengers. Hmm, that is just weird. So yeah, not only he is an enemy to Spidey Man, he's also an enemy to the Avengers by the looks of it. If he, if he, he was making a Dark Avenger, yeah. Dark Avenger team. 
So yeah, I can check all three of these off. These Ultron and Mark 42, I think, and Rhodey. Those are the last three you will be needing in the set to complete the Iron Monger. In some places, they are already out, so happy hunting. Now, let's get to this. Get to the part we've been all waiting for. Just give me a minute here so I can fix up this stupid arm here. These stupid darn arms. Getting rough as heck. Okay. Well, the orange eyes I mentioned. Under, of course, under this cool helmet of his he has a green his green face paint yep by looks of it and he also blamed his green goblin persona for this Ashley well this is actually well let's start it this that was his face there Pretty cool. This is the star beam, which is pretty cool. Way better than Stark's. At least there's something better than just seeing Stark's heart all the heart cleaner all the time. I, I really dig the color in this suit here. Although it's not really an Iron Man suit, it's just a villain suit. It's pretty awesome. And wow, I just like the way he did this one. Of course, you can't see it, but you can see it. There is rocket boots on the bottom, on the soles of his feet. Now, of course, he has those two little brown circles like he has in the classic Iron Man. Um, shoulder pads. Take a look at the back here. The big M. Or no, actually, I think that's an accident because of his thing that goes down there. And then the shoulder pads connect right there. So, yeah. So, the M's a mistake. Unless it's supposed to mean Magneto, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> So yeah, this is the back of the figure. This is the front again. And that's pretty much it. Well, first of all, we're going to go through the articulation of the figure. Since we have... His head goes up a little bit, and... He cannot look down unless you go... Unless you bend the figure down. And because of his, because of his damn tight joints... I had to put down the camera. Okay, well, his arms go side to side. And you can bend them. Yeah, you can bend them. Unlike the other ones. Unlike, like, unlike uh, one of the other ones that couldn't because the armor was too big and it was restricting him to doing so. You could bend his elbow. And you can do that. Well, this one, of course, bends. But, of course, has his... Hand. Always have that same darn thing all of them do, really. I think all of them do. Wait a minute. Yeah, even the monger does, by the looks of it. Yes. Of course, this hand, of course, bends. Elbow bends, and again, the same thing. Well, I'm going to quickly fix my darn shoulder pad here. Just completely messed it up. And unlike the classic Iron Man, which was restricted to doing these stretches because of the circles, it does not restrict in the, on this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to add. So, uh, sorry about that. I'll try my best. Okay, now there's an ab crunch. Back. 
forward, back and forward is you could stand as is bends. His boot goes back and forward, back and forward. Same does this one, back and forward. Oh. Sorry about that. Back and forward. So yeah, that's the articulation. Okay. And this is his nicely destroyed package. The blueprints. The piece that comes with it. And Norm Normie Osborne himself. So like, comment, and subscribe for future editions of Billy's Figure Reviews. And hopefully soon you will see a review of this bad boy right here. As we are just three pieces away from completing this bad boy. And it's going to be one heck of a review. So yeah, so I, if I were you... I'd subscribe for that, just alone.